This is the Murky Station Heist, which is new in the latest round of DLC, the Most Wanted DLC, or Payday 2. On console, PC's had it for a while, as is usually the case, but it's a fun new heist that we can play now. Here it is. Uh, I honestly don't buy anything. It's a pretty good heist in the sense that, uh, sort of like First World Bank, you don't need anything, you can just jump right in. That's what we'll do. Pretty basic premise of the heist. There are four trains in this train, uh, four train cars in this yard here that you hack into via panels like that. And each of the four cars will have a different tool required to access the like inner compartment. So, what we'll be looking for first? Done this a few times so far and feel like I have a pretty good handle for it, but we'll see. I'm sure there'll be lots of variables and I'll have to redo it over and over again and get pissed. Being chat spammed by a buddy who usually makes me redo it. Okay, a lot of the tools are down in the basement. You can hear one right now. Now that I think about it. And that way down. And I hear another. You can hear the hard drive. Uh, all of them will have sound cues. That's what you look for. Usually seems to be two or three of these in the basement. So I start there just so we're not doubling back. We're behind. They can be in here. If you're looking for hidden packages, there can be a ton of them down here. Just kind of spread out on the floor. I'm not going to look for those at least right now. Alright, thermite pace, there's one. Right. Another guy there, I hear a... Oh, no. sound like he was right in front of me. That guy must be upstairs. I was completely wrong. Blowtorch. Two or four. Uh, usually seems there's two, maybe three of these loose weapon crates down here. Those will provide very good money and XP in the end. Whenever we start turning stuff in. Uh, you'll notice earlier I unscrewed a ventilation shaft. I think this guy's stuck here. That's going to be pretty helpful. Uh, theoretically, unless he's blocking that path a lot. Uh, later on I'll be probably, most likely, moving things through the little sub-basement. Go ahead and get that ready over here now. Uh, good place to move bags because you won't be spotted at all whatsoever. Uh, as long as you can find a safe place to get in and out and not be seen by, in this case, one roaming guard, normally two, it'll be good. It all connects right there. So, oh, slight pain, but if your concealment's low enough, you can be daring like that. Go right past them. There is the hard drive. These are always in random spots. In true payday style. Go past them again. Not for the faint of heart. Here, for example, would be another spot where you would find a uh, hidden package. Not this time. Ah, and here's another weapon crate. Be a little harder to get past this guy carrying stuff, so be very careful. Crates will obviously be in different spots each time. Alright, so the only thing left, like you heard, probably heard the beeping of the hard drive station. You definitely hear the, uh, the two guys doing the welding or grinding or whatever. The last thing is a key card, and you'll hear a radio playing by that station. Okay. <laughs> Alright, since he's gonna make my life miserable there. Here we go. All right. Go back up. At this point, this basement you probably saw earlier will connect out to a, like a little dock area. You can... I would start there or just go back up and start out here. 
And typically, I'm just going to say we saw this hacking panel right there. <clears throat> Start from the outside and work our way in. New things here. There are actually drones in this level, which I have not seen in any other payday level, and may not be, maybe on PC, but for we console folk. They're not active right now. You'll see them lift up in the air. <clears throat> actually, yeah, that's them right there. Like, you'll see them fly up in the air, flash a red light, which is fine. Hard. And then they'll, whenever they beep, they'll flash a white, and at that point they work just like a normal camera. You can still run through them, but if you kill anybody in their line of sight, or have a bag lying out or something, you're pretty much hosed at that point. One nice thing about this train heist, you can hide under here, from the drones, from the guards, and be completely fine. As long as your head is, like, pretty far back there, you can have them all around you and you'll still get away with it. Ironically, the one with the key card that we don't have. There's no EMP though. I already checked on the other side. <clears throat> Down this way, there was not one there. Obviously, be very careful as you jump out. Check this side. Another a bit more scary <clears throat> because guards will come right. Will come right through there. Or maybe behind me. It's obviously very bad if I'm right here. Looks like the EMP isn't here, but there might be some other valuable loot. Torch. For it. You need to check it now. I'll come back later. Uh, can be very scary. If you're in trouble, that little bank of what looks like safe deposit. I don't even know what those are. And hide right there. It's always safe. All right, so. Obviously no EMP in this one either. Just to mark these, I'm going to drop bags here, that way I'll see them later. I'll probably remember anyway, but make it easy for your memory. Other than, you know, really just be patient. I'm actually sprinting a little bit in the interest of time and almost tripping that laser. Uh, you know, just take your time. Like, every guard in here will have a flashlight, which is nice. Uh, the only civilians, like the welders, the only ones that, you know, are there and don't have the uh, flashlights always working, so you don't have to worry about any random surprises like you would on Shadow Raid or Bomb Dockyard, you know, something like that. Other than that, I'm just going to move these bags out, so I'll probably fast forward for a bit here, unless I think of something else, or whenever it's time to go. Okay, so while I'm here, I'll just take one with me. Whenever we find the EMP, they can, uh, up there where we started, the drop-off point will either be there or out on the docks. So, you know, however you want to prep your bags. If you want to prep all your bags now, you know, you can get them somewhere back here or over on the other side by the docks. And, uh, you know, you'll have to move them all later, but it'll save you a little bit of time. All right, at this point, I think I've not even gonna bother about those trains over there. I think we're good. I'm gonna go run underneath and go to the docks. Probably another fast forward. Back again. Um, I did hear the drones beeping. So that's what they look like when they're on. I don't know quite what the radius is. It seems pretty. Not a guard. Pretty big, but you know, pretty standard for a normal camera. If you're used to that sort of thing. But I've opened up two uh, crates. Still haven't found the key card yet. Um, but our crates, containers, but both of them so far have been the uh, weapon cases and not the two EMP parts. We're essentially looking for two EMP parts. You set up a later mission. That was obviously the camera range. They haven't seen. Pretty Stay dangerous home. area, like I just demonstrated. If you don't believe what I say, believe what I do, and I almost mess up the heist. 
going. So, drones will be up in the air. I don't even know how long. 30 seconds, maybe? Feels like a long time when you're hiding in a place like this. Just waiting. Ah, here we go. The lovely radio station. Back panel. Really, I mean... It's like a lot of time if they're gonna find you, you're really ambushed, so I can't stress enough to watch for flashlights like that. You'll get hosed. I would have had I not turned around and looked at that. If you're really lucky and they come up behind you, you might you know, one of these little under carriage things, whatever. But I wouldn't rely on that at all. Because a lot of the time you won't make it. And it always happens when you otherwise would have everything else done. This one uh, is a all stealth mission, like Shadow Raid. But unlike Shadow Raid, which had a minute of no return time, which, especially with the jammers, you could really like drag out and do some, you know, pretty productive work, and not do that here because it's only 20 seconds. Clear my paste. This is actually a pretty good spot because uh, the hack panels will be on one side, but whenever it unlocks, you'll see both sides of the doors will open. So this one will be pretty close to that dock exit. And that's where we're headed. But of course, as usual, all our bags are over there. Alright, obviously do your, f do your due diligence and check every side. to get XP in this one for opening each cart and quite a bit especially on one down or death wish as you'll see 228 already now you know got quite a few infamy levels but lots of money for the EMPs and you know, pretty damn good amount of XP too this is a extremely lucrative heist very good on money uh, but exceptionally good on XP not even see him at all Where are you going, buddy? Oh, where are you going, buddies? Just standing inside each other. Drones up there, active again. Stay low and quiet. Usually they seem to have a that path down the hallway, but one of them only goes like halfway here, so be careful with that too. He will turn around. Alright, while we're here, let's see if we can spot the other door. Keep track, guys. Gotta be on one. Or so I thought. Maybe it is on the other side still. Fast forward job. Ah, my mistake. Nope. Oh man, that's not a panel. We right down here then. We're running out of space. I should have known that was going to happen. Luckily, drones aren't up in the air. That would have been a terrible way to end the heist. Fail. Get them beeping to life. Okay. They may not have seen him there. So they probably wouldn't. Oh, okay. I guess that's safe. And, honestly, this is a pretty good guy to kill later on. I don't recommend doing it right off the bat. But later on, pretty good guy to kill just to easily move your bags. So we saw this one earlier, obviously. At this point, he's dead. So 
but still be careful just in case somebody comes in, but start moving your bags out. We're going to have a lot of bags to move down the stairs here from this side around through to the dock. So probably a long fast forward here too. That's the theme of it. There's not that much to say, honestly. Fun heist, pretty straightforward other than the uh, changing spawn stuff. All right, catch you in a bit. from bag prepping there. In this little area I'm in right now, we're completely safe back here. No camera will see you, no guard will ever come back here, so in the eventual event, it'll happen to everybody where things get too crazy, then feel free to duck back here and just stare at this guy. He'll look at you and think he saw something and say, ah, there's probably nothing. Continue moving on. Stay low. The way guards do in payday or <clears throat> the way everybody does in a horror movie. Perfectly natural. There we go, there's our last one. And that one will have the EMP in it. Sometimes guards come back here and they will ruin your day, so watch out for that. Try to get this quickly. We've got a few more bags. You see my giant pile over there. I fast-forwarded through. Make for another very long fast-forward later. Okay, one side on the EMP. We are hard drive. Oh, we can. Basically, you know, patience. Uh, you know, just like in any heist. Um, right now, I'll be more patient. I probably, I know I could have made that, but why not? Patience, patience, and you should get through this pretty easily. Like I. Admittedly on a lower level, but I, I got through it like my second try. Um, stealth. It's not that bad. I think you'll die from that fall, but just in case, I'm going to turn around and grab the ladder in the air, action style. Um, obviously there are four ways in. I don't trust these guards. We'll probably actually turn around here. I see a guard. Guard too. Oh, right. that was me saying it. Aha! I knew it. Okay, so here's the under area. You're gonna see a lot of this in fast forward later, but lots of vents to pop up, especially if that one guard is locked over here. Perfect. That doesn't normally happen in this level. Like I've only seen it once or twice. <clears throat> But in this particular case, it's going to make it a lot easier. One time I saw it, and he was in front of a, a camera watching one of the guys well. Really, like, creepy, you know, perverted type thing. But it made it impo literally impossible. You can't kill the guard in front of the camera. You can't get to the camera to loop it. It was uh, a game breaker. All right, anyway, that is all the EMP. Well, all two. Very poor. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to go... Uh, there's more bags. Here. So this one. Okay, anyway, sorry. Rambling to myself. I'm gonna go finish the uh, bag cleanup and uh, talk if I think of something. Otherwise, you, I think you kind of get the gist of this one. Really like it. It's uh, one of my favorite. Got that one already. One of my favorite stealth missions, but uh, yeah, pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. one mercifully <laughs> that happens all the time you could run these up top all the way around if you want but that's much more risky if you can get all these bags down into the basement then you're clear
Bags are okay to hide there if you want, whether there's a camera or a guard. The guard will come all the way down through here sometimes, so this area is safe. bags in the train cars and uh, seems like at least two minimum like kind of loose down in the uh, basement which I got both of those I think I've seen a third sometimes we're almost done feels like a hundred So like I said earlier, we're in no danger of being spotted down here, so however you want to move the damn bags, we're going to be doing that for a while. I mean that in a positive way. The damn bags, that is. He's been welding, grinding or whatever he's doing for quite a while in the same spot. Not efficient. already and that's gonna go way up with these bags I don't know I think they're 25 to 30,000 XP each so despite the time it is very worth it and probably 400 something thousand again if you're looking for money or XP this is a very nice heist especially for XP time to get caught. From here I can easily get out to the boat in 20 seconds, but you just don't want to leave all that money and XP hanging. 60, and I don't even remember where I was at before. Pistols and battle rifles, even though you can run with the pistols and not the battle rifles, they are the same money and payout. So here we go, 571, 5. Okay, a little over 28,000. Very worth it when you have, again, like 14 bags. Basically, we're home free now. Like I said, even if you, if you mess up, uh, you know, you're gonna be able to, to get out with something, and that this, in this case, a lot. But, uh, yeah. The principle of it, take it all. And I'm still, uh, like I said earlier, new to this, so there may be some more I'm missing, but I don't think so. I don't think there's any way to deactivate drones. I could be very wrong on that. But they're truthfully not even that much of a problem, unless you want to freak out over minor things, the way some of us are. I've actually done this with all the loot in around 20 minutes before. It all depends on, you know, your luck of where the cars are train cars are and how far you have to move bags I got very lucky that like all like all 12 of the bags up top were on this side and it was a boat exit so much easier but for those watching you can see how much time I've spent moving the bags safely through the underground but again it'll be worth it for sure. Eleven already. I count the EMPs in those additional bags, so we should have, I think, sixteen total. Even though the uh, point of no return is only twenty seconds, obviously, if you get spotted, you can chain your ECMs and get that up to like a minute of time. Um. Not a problem, you know, here, you'll still get a few bags and be able to escape, but if you are on the other side of the map, which has happened to me, um, you're going to need most of that time just to get all the way across. But BK 
careful. And if you get spotted on the other side of the map and you don't get your ECM done in time, then everything is lost. Very shitty, but it's happened to me two or three times in learning the heist. Alright, last bag. That was it. So there you go. Solo, I mean, obviously if you have two or three, you can get through this heist really quickly, but solo, well over 900,000, well over a million dollars. With bonuses, I'm probably in the million range. But like I said earlier, with a, a nice enough stealth bonus, I've been over 11, or 11 million. 1.1 million XP. I don't know what I'm saying. There you go. Hundred and seventy thousand away. That's like one diamond store with that stealth bonus. And it might be. Alright. That's it for the video.